Hi everybody, it's Dana. Okay, first things first, I need to just cover this. Um, yes, I know I'm the only one who's been posting videos for a while. I'm not entirely sure what Kiwi and Tempo Steel is. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm not going to go ahead and make assumptions like, oh, they don't really care about the channel anymore because I don't know what's going on, but they also haven't really been talking to me, so yeah, I don't know. So I just figured I'd make this video for you guys. Um, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a cartwheel. So, because I know at our last tutorial, our first tutorial that we did, it got a lot of views. It got 2k views. So, this one's going to be hopefully better. Because that last one wasn't too good. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let's get into it. When doing cartwheels, you will need upper body strength and control. So I'm going to show you a few exercises you can do to improve. The first exercise is, you guessed it, push-ups. If you have none or close to no strength, start off by doing one push-up a day and work your way up from there. Other good exercises to do are plank holds and handstands. The best way to stay controlled is to have a tight core, so I have exercises that would work for that. There's obviously sit-ups, crunches, and other things like lemon squeezes. also important and a key thing to do when learning how to do a skill such as a cartwheel. The things you will need to stretch are your shoulders, your back, your ankles, your wrists, definitely your neck as well, and it also doesn't hurt to do splits. After you're done stretching, you're ready to actually attempt the skill.
want to start in a lunge with your arms straight up by your ears. The most important thing to remember is to keep your elbows locked. This means you don't bend them while your arms are supporting your body weight or else you could risk getting a serious injury. Do not hurt yourself. Once your arms are locked by your ears, you're going to slowly bend over into a T position in which looks like this. Still keeping your arms locked by your ears, place your hands side by side on the ground. In this position, use your leg that you're balancing on to push off into a straddle handstand position. Your body weight will be shifted from your lower body to your upper body, so remember to keep your arms nice and strong. After you've hit this position, mimic what you did at the start to safely land back in a lunge, this time with your bad leg in front. Remember to keep your arms by your ears, have straight legs, and getting enough power to do the actual skill is important as well.